I'm back, I'm back, I'm back from vacation. You guys, happy holidays, Malagayang Pasco, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. No matter what you're celebrating or just spending time with yourself or your family, wishing you guys all the best. I'm fresh off of vacation. I have a lovely tan because I just came back from Mexico. I was in Puerto Morelos, I was in Cancun and Tulum, and my goodness, I almost did not come back. But you know what? I filmed this tutorial there, but the sound was off. So I'm recording it for you again. Today we're gonna jump into Abanico 3, Abanico 3. This is going to be similar to the pattern that you've been seeing in the last few tutorials that I have because I wanted to make it a little bit easy for you guys. And then we're gonna build on. That's my smoke detector. I just came back into town and guess what? It's too high for me to reach, so I have to wait on maintenance. But it's December 26th, so nobody's working. So we're just gonna let it beep throughout the time of this tutorial. Listen up, if you're one of my loyal subscribers, thank you guys so much. We are growing this squad and growing this family. We are almost to 5K, I believe, 5K on YouTube. So I'm just in total shock. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you give me. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure you like and you subscribe and you hit that bell icon. It's a lot to do, but you're gonna enjoy being part of the squad and learning and just having some fun with me. And if you don't like what you see, no need, just go ahead and move on. Without further ado, be careful. Medical restrictions, orthopedic limitations, don't do it if you're not supposed to. But let's jump right into the tutorial of Abanico 3. So we're gonna jump right into it, okay? Like I said before my last video, I'm going to film from the waist up. And then I'm going to probably do a separate video of footwork for you guys because footwork can vary for this drill, okay? So let's start off with a single stick. You only need one stick on this one so far, but then we're gonna add in two. Um, so what I wanna to explain to you first, abanico, abanico. I'm gonna put it somewhere here. Abanico three. <sighs> this beeping sound. Abanico three means fan. Abanico is fan in Tagalog is the language of the Philippines. Some people call it Filipino, but it's Tagalog. So abanico means to fan. We're working on a fanning motion. So, you know, you see ceiling fans go this way. You see regular fans go this way. We're going to go in the same motion, almost like a ceiling fan does. Okay. So what you're going to need is a lot of wrist mobility. If you are not mobile in your wrist, this may be a little bit difficult. So it's gonna take some practice. Don't worry, just take your time and go slow on it, okay? So normally when I do this drill, I would have someone or something in front of me that I can work on, but we're just gonna pretend to have a focal point right here in front of me, okay? I'm using my right arm. You can use whatever arm you want. I highly suggest you practice your abanico fan motion as much as you can because it's only gonna make it better. I'm sorry, that's annoying. I'm gonna try to mute that out whenever I can, okay? So listen up. Again, we're gonna go ahead and go with like a four finger grip. It's just really gonna depend on you on your personal style. Everybody holds their stick grips at different places. Also, depending on how long your stick is, I usually go about with a four finger grip. And remember, oh, this is gonna be key. Ooh, 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 side note. So remember before, remember before when I told you that we always, always hit with the blade of the weapon. Oh my gosh, you guys, mind blown. This is gonna be the first time we're not hitting with the blade of the weapon. We're gonna be hitting with the side of the stick. This is probably one of the only exceptions. I'll give you guys a few more throughout learning from me, but one of the only exceptions where you actually don't hit with the blade part of the stick. So this time, when I'm doing this fan, this quick motion, it's gonna be with the outsides of my stick. Ooh, I know, I know, it's taboo, I know, I know. Okay, so let's go back to it. I've got my focal point right in front of me, okay? Four finger grip, my hand is up in the air. This is how I want you to practice. See this kind of like L shape or this really 90 degree angle squared off shape with the arm? That's what I want you to work on keeping your arm at as much as possible. Obviously, we can't keep it like this the entire time. When you're hitting in front of you, remember your target is always out in front of you. So I'm going to take the back end or the back hand of the stick. I'm rotating my wrist. This is why you need that wrist mobility and I'm striking out in front of me. I'm then going to rotate that back. This is where your 90 degree kind of changes and I'm striking with the other side. See that? Again, nice and slow. This is a fan motion on this side and this side. I always say practice everything very, very slow because when you have proper form, everything else will come. Speed and power will come. So what I suggest is if you're practicing by yourself, I'll wait for the motorcycle to pass, practicing with yourself or practicing with a friend, take your time especially. Nine times in 10, you're probably gonna hit yourself. I've hit myself many times. With, with more practice, you hit yourself less, but you may hit yourself, so be very careful not to wank yourself going backwards. Oh my gosh. Bruh. 
Be careful not to hit yourself coming back. I'm sorry, that's gonna be, I know some people in the comments are gonna say something. All right, so we're back to it. Add an eco, going to the front, back, and hit, and hit. So let's just say we're doing this 10 times. I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, okay? But that fanning motion, eventually, you wanna get that to a fast fanning motion, fast fanning motion, but nice and slow first, hitting on each side. So I highly suggest practicing the abanico on one side and then practicing the abanico on the other side, working on that wrist mobility. All right, so now that that's done, guess what? Then you need two sticks, two sticks, okay? Ta-da! I have two sticks, it was just right here on my couch. Okay, so this is gonna be abanico three. It's very similar to the pattern of sinuali and the redondo three that I just showed you, okay? So it's almost like that six pattern. So don't mind me too, guys. I, I ate everything I wanted in Cancun, I'm not gonna lie. I ate everything I wanted, so your girl is sucking in right now, but don't worry, these abs are gonna be back popping in about a week, okay? So let's go back to it. This time, both uh, hands onto your stick. We're gonna go from a closed chamber position, okay? I'm gonna start on my left, which will be your right, okay? So closed chamber position. I'm striking out in front of me. So what I'm gonna do with my left, but this is gonna be your right, so with your right hand, you're going to do three abanico strikes, three abanico strikes. It looks like this. So I start with my left hand. I'm hitting towards the temple, the one, two. I go one, two, three. From here, I chamber it high onto the neck, backhand, backhand open. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's do it again, go back. Close chamber. It's one, it's two, it's three abanicos, chamber the weapon backhand, and then that open backhand again. Okay, so pivoting of that body. Last time, I go one, I go two, I go three, chamber backhand, backhand open. And you know how it goes. We gotta go on the other side. So I start on that close position, okay? So close position on this side, but as I do the close position, it's an abanico. One, two, Three, I'm gonna close it. Backhand, and when I chamber high, backhand open other side. Huh? Let's go back to our left, back to our left. We're gonna go one, we're gonna go two, we're gonna go three, chamber on the neck, and a backhand with your right hand. And then backhand open. Last time on this side, let's do it again. And a one, two, three, chamber high with the backhand, open backhand, okay, kinda got that, I hope you kinda got it, let's go to the side, okay, so from the side, here we go, this is gonna be with your right hand, one, two, three, backhand, backhand, open, now other side, one, two, three, chamber, backhand, backhand, again, one, two, Three, chamber high, backhand, backhand last time. One, two, three, chamber high, backhand and backhand. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This one, it, it is simple, it can be very simple, but when you're trying to get all those strikes going, your mind can really trick you on this one. So let's go medium speed, medium speed. Starting from that closed chamber position, right hand first, abanico three times. One, two, three, chamber high, backhand, open backhand. Close position, abanico. One, two, three. Chamber high, backhand, backhand. This is such a fun drill to do with your friends. Again, one, two, three, backhand, backhand. 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 Let's just for fun go to the left. Okay, so I've got my back here, okay? Got my abanico. I'm kind of kind of going to angle so you guys can still see. One, two, three. Chamber high. Backhand. Can you see that backhand? Open backhand. Let's do that again. Close position. Abanico. One, two, three. I'm exaggerating this so you guys can see. Chamber high. Backhand. Backhand. Last time slow. One, two. Three, chamber high, backhand, oh, smoke detector, switch side, chamber, one, two, three, chamber, backhand, 
back hand. You guys, that is it. I know you're like, oh, there's three steps, it's not, but I promise you, it can get really tricky once you get going. So this is ab and eco three. Let's go again, medium pace. We're gonna go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, backhand, backhand. 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 Make sure it's a clean abanico. You don't want abanico to be like, ah, all over here. One, two, three, backhand, backhand. One, two, three, backhand, backhand. We're gonna try to pick it up. One, two, three, back, back. 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 I can't breathe. <laughs> Did you get it? I hope you got it. Let me know down in the comments if you got it, if you picked it up. If there's a question that you have, let me know. But it's pretty much like that six pattern, that six step pattern. But we're gonna do one, two, three up in the air, backhand, backhand. Abanico three, please, please, please. Practice your abanico, your fanning motion. Um, I didn't really tell you that much right now. We're only abanico high, but you can abanico middle, destroying the, the weapon. So let's say someone's holding it here. You, be, you can abanico the hand. You can abanico low. You can abanico to any area. But right now, we're gonna abanico high, just here to the temple area. So I want you to imagine hitting right here towards the temple. Boom, boom, one, two, three, boom, boom. I'm not gonna go ahead. I, I said I was gonna do the breakdown of the footwork. I'll do that in a separate video because it's pretty much like the one that you saw from Redondo 3. You wanna be able to freely move as you go around, okay? The goal of this is to be able to do your strikes accurately while still moving. Remember, for me, your coach, or online my Instagram, they called me the Sensei Bay. Hey! So you can hashtag me Sensei Bay. Um, I'm always about form. I'm always about technique. You get that right, the speed, the power, all of that will come and then you can explore more. I've been doing this my entire life, but even then I will always break down the basics and I will always go slow. There's nothing wrong with the basics. Don't let flashy stuff online tell you any different. It's like, you gotta go fast, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. No, practice the basics, the basics, the basics. And I promise you, if you do that, it will get better. It's not just about practicing to be perfect. It's perfectly practicing so that your strikes and everything come out the way you're supposed to, okay? So you can practice wrong. Don't practice wrong. Practice right, you guys, all right? Thank you so, 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 so very much. Again, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Um, even if you don't celebrate, I'm hoping you guys are all well. I can't wait to share with you um, a lot of the content that I shot on my trip because it was martial arts based. I did a lot of stuff um, for some amazing hotels and resorts out there. And I'm looking forward to bringing you more. Let me know what other questions you have. Subscribe. And most of all, please like and share this with somebody else. And let's grow the squad. I've got the online courses coming. The plan was for the end of the year, but don't worry. They're still coming. I'm, I'm working for you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. See you later.